Hi guys, it's your Mark Fleer, welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you the latest Forge Mod Builder update. The latest version over here is the 0.1.1.0 version. This is the new version. It's actually undergone quite a big update, where I've added a new tab over here, but obviously it's not working, because it's the build file tab, but no product is loaded. So I'm going to be showing off the new features, going to be going over the things that have changed, a couple of bug fixes and such. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you notice is obviously that you've got the build file tab here. So if I open a recent project like CJ Core, we can open it up. And you see that if you look here, it didn't clear the whole uh, console. That is an option now. Uh, clear console and product open. And I can tick it and I can untick it, which is brilliant. And here you go, we've got the build script. Now one thing that I have done is I've actually managed to fix the issue with clicking the link, so if I click on the link, you should see that my internet browser will open up and we're on the right address, which is brilliant. So, links are now working, that's brilliant. So obviously these links will work in here as well. And yeah, so that is the build file. Now there's a couple of things that you can do in the build file, is we can actually edit it. So let's say we wanted to get rid of these comments or something over here um, let's see so we're gonna delete some stuff you know massive change what we can actually do is we can save the file and it's actually updated I can show you this if I go over to wherever the mod is and uh, CJ Core 1.11 and I go to the edit with notepad plus plus on the build up gradle uh, no thanks and we do see that we have a massive change in there and I can just remove this I can save the file we can upload uh, update it and the massive change is now gone brilliant another really awesome feature of this is the upload file where if we click this a paste bin has been created it copies the paste bin to your clipboard and it even opens up the paste bin for you so this is say if you had an error with this, you can easily just go and create this. I just type in the code that is here. Submit. And as you can see, we've now got the script created. It's been uploaded to Facebook. It's uploaded as a guest. And the title is just build.gradle. And if I just go into the new tab, you can see that it has actually uh, done the right link copied over. And success. Yeah. And this is the same for the actual console. If I click upload log, it'll just upload the current log. And it tells you, and it gives you a link in here. It also opens it up, as you can see. And we know that works from earlier. Which, I think that's a really awesome feature. So if you have any errors, just do that. And that's great. Now, I have been working on a fix for something. Um, if you say get a build error, it doesn't actually show the error well as you do it in CMD it does. Uh, that's something that's currently being fixed at the moment. I'm just trying to figure out the ins and outs of fixing that. Uh, it should be fixed, but it's not in this update, but it will be in the latest update. So let's go on to the other things. So we have some more options now. We have a check versions, which now means that when you boot up, you can choose the versions you are going to check. Now, obviously, you need to make sure that you've synced. So if I go for uh, check versions, it will ensure it syncs it and it'll go through all the versions that we said and there you go. It doesn't do any more. But if you want to go and check versions and uh, deselect all of these, you will see that if I go to check versions, it will do absolutely nothing, which is correct. And we can now select all of them. Uh, I'm literally just clicking on these to toggle them between their state and yeah let's just go do all of them you'll see massive dump of text and check versions and you'll see we'll go through all of them but obviously you do not want this do you so you can now turn these off and you will see that these settings are actually changed for when we uh, log off which is brilliant when we log off it just saves all of our changes which is great 
and uh, yeah, I think that's about it. A couple of bug fixes. Um, obviously, it now does a checking when you load up. It was a suggestion from Dogatron on Discord. So if you want to find out more about the updates, because there have been updates in between, go check out the Discord because I do updates on that about it. So yeah, one of the newest features is actually the ability to update the mappings. So as you can see on when I load the project, it now loads the MCP mapping. And if I press update, I'm already up to date, but there is a new MCP mapping. What it does is it looks for the latest snapshot. Now I don't use the snapshots, I always use a stable version. But if you're going for the latest version, you can now update the MCP mapping and that will update as you would expect. Which is great. Uh, just showing you the clear console and project open. Let's just open up another project. So uh, this one and you can see that it cleared it, turn it off and I open up another one like this one. And you can see it didn't clear it which is brilliant so that is the latest forge mod builder update i'd love to see you in the next video so thank you guys for watching the like comment and subscribe i am out